There are several manifestations of division among the Muslims, and there are actions and behaviors that contribute to these divisions. One, and probably one of the most profound and poisonous, is the issue of Asabiyah and Qawmiya. Asabiyah, it means nationalism, and Qawmiya, tribalism. Muslims waving their flags, Muslims being proud of where they come from, Muslims always saying, putting a name, putting a country, putting some kind of ethnicity before Islam, saying, I am American Muslim. I am a Pakistani Muslim. I am an Australian Muslim. I am an Iraqi Muslim. I am a Saudi Muslim. I am a Lebanese Muslim. I am a Nigerian Muslim. No, we should never, ever, ever put anything before Islam. You can say, I am a Muslim from Nigeria. I'm a Muslim from America. I'm a Muslim from Lebanon. Why? Because where you're from really doesn't matter. What matters is that we are Muslims. Qawmiya, tribalism. Even Muslims from the same country, Muslims who are from the same ethnicity, when they come and they live in a place, they settle according to tribe. Tribe that lives in the east, the tribe that lives in the west, the tribe from the north, the tribe from the south, the tribe that eats this, the tribe that has this culture, tribes that had historical conflicts among themselves, they continue those conflicts even when they move to another place. So this is called Asabiyah and Qawmiya. It is something that Muslims do innocently, by habit. Even when they enter the mosque, you will find Muslims look for somebody who looks like them. A Muslim looks to sit by somebody who talks like them. A Muslim will only invite somebody to their house who is from their place. A Muslim seems to seek loyalty and support and to live next to someone who eats his food and dresses like him and talks his lahja, his dialect. This is signs of ignorance. This is signs of defeat. This is signs of weakness. This is signs of disease. This is signs of jahiliya. But we have been told, we have been told by our conquerors, we have been told by those people who have sponsored us, we have been told by those people who have entered our homes, our hearts, and our lands, we have been told by those people that this is good for us. This is a way that we can be identified. This is a way we can be distinguished. And we believe them because they give us something for it. Oh, Muslims, this ignorance, Asabiya and Qawmiya, is the ignorance and poison which is one of the main ingredients of division and pollution among the Muslims today. If we don't stop it, if we don't speak about it, then we are contributing to our own death and we are contributing to the erosion and the stagnation of Islam. It is the element that the non-Muslim conspirators, they use it to separate us. They use it to divide us. They use it to undermine the countries. They use, they use it to undermine our communities. They use it to undermine the individuals among the Muslims. We have been given special names by the kuffar. We have been given special flags by the kuffar. We have been given distinct countries by the kuffar with independent constitutions and governments by the kuffar. And that is how we see each other. There was a time when no matter where a Muslim lived, they knew there was one Khalifa. They knew there was one authority. They knew there was one Ummah and there was no need for any flag. The flag of the Muslims is La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. It doesn't have any emblems. It doesn't have any special letters. It is not for any special people. It is a global Ummah. It is an Ummah that's chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
It is the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is the Ummah of Ibrahim Alayhi Wasallam. It is the Ummah of the Anbiya. It is the Ummah of Tawheed. And every other characteristic that it has is underneath it. It is beneath it. It is subordinate to it.